Our learning intention for today is that we are learning to use efficient mental strategies for subtraction. The strategy that we're looking at today is subtraction by adding. And you might be thinking, hold on, how do we subtract by adding? Well, you may remember that addition and subtraction are opposite operations. That means that they're very closely related and that we could actually find the answer to a subtraction problem by adding. Let's start with a very simple problem to demonstrate this idea. Let's start with six minus two. So I would like to know what six minus two is, and I could use any of the strategies that we've already looked at. I could count backwards and that would get me there, but today I'm going to add to get there. What I don't mean is six plus two equals eight. That is not the solution to six minus two. What I mean is that I'm actually finding the difference. So I am finding what I need to add to the smaller value to find the larger value or the value that we started with. So really I'm asking, what do I need to add to two to get to six? I could actually count up for this. Let's try it. So I'm gonna start on two, then I don't count the number that I started on, I count the next one. So then I'm going to count three, four, five, six, and I do count the number that I finish on, which is six. So I've added one, two, three, four, to, from two, two, to get to six, which means that actually the solution here is four. Because six minus two is four, I need to add four to two to get to six. This works for any subtraction problem. If I need to find how many I need to add to the smaller number to get to the bigger number, or to find the difference between the number that I started with and the number that I took away. We can work with bigger numbers and to do that, to track my thinking, or to show what I'm thinking, I'm going to use a number line. Let's try this problem. Let's try 65 minus 27. Now I could use any number of strategies to solve this one, but for today we're going to use subtraction by adding. I'm finding how much is in between those numbers. Okay, so I want to know the difference between these two. So I'm going to start on 27. I'm going to start on the smaller number here. So here is 27. And then I'm going to work out how many I need to add to get to 65. I'm actually going to mark 65 here so that I don't forget it. So 65 is here. So I want to know how much is in this gap here, what the difference is. And to do that, I'm going to do some jumping. So I'm going to go from 27, I'm going to add 10. So that'll get me to 37. Then I'm going to add another 10 to get to 47. That's 47. Then I'm going to add another 10 to get to 57. And now I could try and add another 10, but that's gonna end up with me being more than 65. So I'm gonna have some smaller jumps, some jumps of units instead of tens to get to 65. So here we go, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I've got eight jumps of one and I've got three jumps of 10. Now three jumps of 10, that is 30 plus the eight that I've got here is 38. That is the difference. So the solution to my problem here, 65 minus 27 is the difference, how many, how many times I had to jump. So 10 jump, uh, three jumps of 10 and eight jumps of one. And so that's actually my solution. So the solution to 65 minus 27, the difference between 65 and 27, how far I had to go to get from 27 to 65 is 38. Let's do one more. Let's try this time, 54 minus 31. So I would like to start on 31. So that's here, 31. And I would like to end up on 54, which is here and I wanna know how far I have to jump to get there. Let's start by jumping 10 at a time. So from 31 will take me to 41. Then another jump will take me to 51. Now I can't jump another 10. I could if that'll land me at 61, which is 
too big for what I'm going for at the moment. I'd have to do some more subtraction, which I could do, but it's actually going to be easier for me just to add things together at the moment. So I'm at uh, 51 now, and now I need to make some smaller jumps to get to 54. So I'm at 51, 52, 53, 54. That is three jumps of one. And I've got here two jumps of 10. which means that I need to add these two together. So I've got two jumps of 10, which is 20, plus three jumps of one, which is three, which is, which is 20 plus three, which is 23. And so the solution to my problem is 23. The difference between 31 and 54, how far I had to travel to get between the two. If I was to take 31 away from 54, I would get 23. And so my solution is, 23. That just means that 23 added to 31 is 54. Or 54 take away 31 is 23. Let's try a worded problem. There are 64 grapes in a bowl. I ate 45 of them. How many grapes are left? So what am I actually trying to find out? So I started with this many grapes. I started with 64. Then I ate... So eight, I'm, I'm taking away 45 of them. And I'd like to know how many are left. So I would like to know the solution to this problem. Okay, so I'm gonna try adding to get to this answer. So I would like to know what I need to add to 45 to get to 64. Let's do this on a number line, okay. So once again, I'm gonna start on the number that I'm taking away from the bigger number. So I'm starting on 45 and I need to know where I'm finishing. I'm finishing on 64. And I wanna know the gap. I would like to know how much is in between these two numbers. I'd like to know the difference because that is what I will get if I take 45 from 64. Let's jump by tens to start with. So I'm going to take a 10 jump to 55. So I've added 10. Then I'm going to, oh, no, I can't quite dump another 10. I could, and then I'll take away one to give me nine, or I could make nine small jumps by the look of it. Let's try it. So 55. 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine jumps of one here. So I've got one jump of 10, nine jumps of one. So I've got 10 plus nine is 19. And that is my solution. If I started with 64 grapes and ate 45 of them, I would have 19 grapes left. And I should write this as a worded answer because this is presented to me in worded form. So I'll just do that over here. There are 19 grapes left. And there we have it. We've looked at another strategy for subtraction. And it's really important that you find a strategy that works for you. We've looked at a number of them now and we'll look at another one next time. So it's important that we find one that works for us. All of these will work. It's important that you find the best one for you. That may be this one. It may be one of the ones that we've already looked at. It might be the one that we look at next time. But as for now, we have looked at another strategy to help us subtract things mentally.